What drives me, what motivates me is believing in myself when no one else does. I love the pressure. I want to be something more. I want to beat statistics. I want to beat odds, and I want to continue to rise. You guys don't think that I'm worthy? Well, let me show you this. I'm one of the best in the world. You come from my respect. And I'll slay every man that comes in my way to get it. So exhausted. Feel kind of burnt out. But again, it's like I always tell people, get how you feel. You know, it doesn't matter how you feel. I don't try to worry about my feelings. Whatever the, it calls to get done, whatever it takes is whatever it takes. I tell people I'm either absolutely crazy, I'm really fucking strong. One of the two, or maybe a bit of both. Even with this camp, it's the fifth one of this year, five fights in a year. Nobody's doing this at this level, at this age. The way I would describe my MMA career, I always describe it as real. Real issues, real life. You don't have to always just be undefeated. You can take losses and bumps and bruises, and, but get back up and fight again. I'm still a poor kid in my brain, you know? People are tell you, you're rich and you got this and that. And no, no, I don't forget what that, I, I never forget that. I don't need no flashy cars. I don't need a bunch of stuff. I've been here, I've proven myself, and now I'm back to prove myself again. You know how many people told me who the fuck am I? I don't need fame. I don't need to be the most famous guy. I wanna be out there and every time, see me, see me. See me, guys, see me. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm getting old and this shit is done and hey, like everybody wants to be famous. I don't need to be that. Fuck all that. Oh, you I remember when I first came in, I was ranked number seven in the world. Then to go from there back out of the top ten. Oh, what happened? And then to come all the way back to prove to everyone that I'm one of the best in the world. The last year has just been a ride. It's been chaotic. It has its highs. Green's got some swagger to him as he opens up this fight. It has its lows. Oh, oh my God! That'll do it from True Dober! Wow! I just got knocked out and I'm saying, put me back in. I'm gonna show you guys that I can change this whole thing around. I can do it. Jared Bush Gordon! With the Jared Gordon fight, I would say it was just a shit storm. Ooh, oh, clash what heads. happened there? That was a clash of heads, I think. Everything could possibly go wrong, went wrong. The headbutt and the no contest. Accidental clash of heads negates the finish to this contest. I fought a month or two later. When he's on, he is on, and he's a joy to watch. Tony Ferguson. A little blood around the nose of Ferguson. Oh. That's not gonna help. Oh, Bobby caught him with the one, two. Legend of the sport, I'm fighting a guy who's older like me. That one bounced oh, his head Jesus. on the canvas. Serious, serious hammer fist. I would say it was perfect. Oh my goodness, this is tight. He's out cold. And just to end it with the submission, I show people that I'm not only a striker, but I also got ground, too. The king, man, putting it all together tonight. And then a month or two later after that, I fought Dawson. I put everything on the line. Everybody thought that I didn't belong with this guy. I felt like I was just counted out. It was electrifying. Oh my goodness, Bobby got him! Yeah, what's up? What's up, Bobby? King Green has done it! Yes, I am hot. He got the opportunity! He delivered! Let's go! There we go. 
So the line, the line to spar Bobby could start forming over there. <laughs> Slip and move, let's go. Slip to your right, move to your right, away from his power. There you go, slip in. I thought I've seen everything this year, but now I'm fighting Jalen Turner on nine days notice. Because Dan Hooker had to pull out with a broken arm. Five fights in 12 months. I haven't had a time to even feel. I was thinking about fighting. It's so unpredictable. Don't be there. There's no telling me which way some things can go. We're only halfway there? Except Jacob. We're only halfway there? The challenge of taking an opponent on short notice is not having enough time to prepare for their style. Now you have to kind of switch things around a little bit. Watch your jab. Turner's long, lanky, aggressive. Trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. Jeez. Strategic. Just gutsy. There you go. back. Yeah, let him know. I expect full out war. I expect him to take some and give some. I'm just making music. I'm just making poetry. You got two guys that are, are bangers. And may the last man stand and win. Come here. Let's be friends today. His exoskeleton is still super, super soft. So I'm gonna be extra careful with him. My nickname is the tarantula. I ended up having a fear of tarantulas at some point in my life. I got one as a pet to like overcome the fear and it turned into a vast collection. This one just molted yesterday. When I started training at the gym, Everybody was thinking of nicknames for me. I said, the tarantula, that sounds cool. And it was original, I love original names. Anderson Silva was my favorite fighter growing up and he was already the spider, so I wasn't gonna bite off his name. And I was like, perfect, the tarantula. And it stuck and now that's me. That's my baby right there. I held her twice ever. I don't think I'll ever do it again because you get bit by one of these, it's gonna suck. I love organized chaos. That's how it all works. That's how I make my animals work, my career path work. I just thrive in things that are unusual. And this is my California king snake. I call her Dice. She's black and white. Growing up, I never felt like I had a set place anywhere. So all these things being out of place and being with me makes me feel like a little bit whole, you know? That's how I like life, organized chaos. She doesn't know it's feeding time yet, but when I drop a mouse in there, she'll know what time it is. It's like closing the octagon door. <laughs> My favorite part about having these animals watching me eat is life, you know? Something has to die in order for something else to live. As simple as it gets. I'm fighting Bobby Green December 2nd. Only challenge of a short notice fight is the weight cut. I feel like there's a lot more peace with this short notice fights because you don't have to sit there and think about the fight for months on end and study over and over and over. It's kind of like you just get to go out there and freestyle and let things flow. The task at hand is get the weight off. And after that, it's like, go have fun. The exciting thing about fighting Bobby is his style. He, Keeps his hands super low, he's swift, he moves really well, and he's crafty. That's a step up, that's a challenge. Bobby's always put on good performances. That's what excites me the most is, it's gonna be a battle. Bobby Green is gonna have a lot to deal with because he fights with his hands down, he leaves his chin forward, and he likes to stay in your face. But when you're going against Jalen Turner, you better have your hands up. He's super dangerous. He's got a long reach. His kicks come up faster than almost anybody I've ever seen. My length is what's gonna give me a big advantage and my time is gonna be a lot different than he's used to. I'm craftier than a lot of the dudes he's fought. 
with just mixing up the arsenal of strikes. That's just gonna be like my ace in the hole. I like to stand and bang. That's what the fans like to see. They like to see the knockouts, the finishes, the TKOs, so that's what I like to go do. And yeah, keep it exciting. This guy's gonna have a bright future, I'll tell you right now. Couple big right hands from Turner. Potter's down, that's it! The Tarantula, Jalen Turner! As Jalen Turner seizes his opportunity. Oh, there's the guillotine. Oh, that is nice. Jalen Turner forces a referee stoppage. Oh, look at that. Left from Turner right away. Wow. There it is. There's, there's the, the tap. tap. Jalen Turner by submission. And the arsenal of attacks that he has is just unbelievable. Ooh, left hand there. Oh, he hurt him to the body. Oh, and a big right hand wobbles Medic. Medic is hurt bad. Imagine how dangerous he can become. Oh, oh. huge right hand. Malarkey crumbles under the power of the tarantula. Oh! Jalen Turner's on fire! Jalen Turner has the look of a future champion. This should be an amazing fight. Ooh, nice left hand by Hooker now. Oh, these guys are getting after it. Dad Hooker's oh, got him! Goodness. He's hurt! Jalen looks like he's fading. Oh, oh, he caught Dan! Bobby was supposed to fight Dan Hooker. And Hooker is busted up. What a fight! Dan ultimately subdued to the injuries that he sustained from our fight. Oh, Turner oh. goes down! He had a broken arm, broken orbital. What an absolute war, Dan Hooker, Jalen Turner wow. go the distance in Vegas. So, I'm the one to step up. I'm getting warmed up now, breaking a sweat. Nice. This Still getting skinny at the same time. One week's notice. One, two, three, four, 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 four. Jab right up to the body. I'm almost warmed up. I'm like, this supposed to be warmed up. I'm good. I look up to Bobby. Be somebody from my same area, and I used to watch him. Be like, oh, he's from Montana. Like, that's what's up. Not too many. Inland Empire guys out in the UFC making waves. That's admirable. Gave me a little bit of inspiration to get there too. We're not like super tight, like we aren't best friends or nothing. I didn't ever want to like cross paths with him out of respect. A win against Bobby is is really, really good right now because we're both in the top 15 and we're both striving to, you know, hit that number one spot. The title's always been the ultimate goal. It's always been a dream. It's always been a destiny. We'll probably have to cross paths one day regardless. But, you know, taking this fight on short notice definitely isn't the way I wanted to do it. And the odds definitely aren't in my favor. So I'm about to go out there and fight against the odds like I love to do. Yeah. What you want? You want a medium? You want a rare? Or... Here it is. Leadership is, is a real tricky one because nobody wants to listen to a leader who ain't been through it. You just marinate that shit and cook it up. No. Yeah. What you want? You want a medium? Sam Mason is my head coach and so much more. But I don't know nothing about barbecue, and I feel like that come with a daddy. A man <laughs> thing, like, hey, are you turning meat? Don't lead a meat, you know what I mean? A man tell you how to do a barbecue. Girls ain't messing with barbecue, bitch, you know? He just understands life and understands uh, me when everything's chaotic. Then when it seems to be all my problems are so big, he just minimizes them. My dad, he went to jail. And I was going back to my old gym where all the gangsters was and, and we smoked a lot of weed and just did a bunch of stupid shit. I had to find another gym. And there was a guy there and uh, Sam was his coach. When it's black, it's done. <laughs> and I was kind of listening. I was kind of ear hustling, just listening to what Sam was saying. And everything just sounded really good, what he was saying. 
And so I was like, man, I gotta get around guys like that. I met him about 14 years ago. We were at a gym that was close to his house and Bobby just happened to be at that gym. And so he said, hey, I got a fight coming up. Can you help me? And we got to talking. It's the last day I could have meat before I really shut it down and, and start really hard dieting. It took a little bit to come together. But Bobby's the type of guy, doom, doom, he doesn't like something, he's gone, see ya. I mean, he's been in, he's been in, in and out of what, 20, 25 foster homes? I felt like I was gonna be done with fighting. Oh, gee. I just graduated from electrician school, so in my head I was thinking, I'm just gonna go be an electrician. And it sounds like you can go all the way. You know what I'm saying? You could be big time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If Sam wasn't here, I would probably be an electrician. I didn't know how I became the grill master. Yeah, you just came over here and started doing it. He has a lot of different sides to Bobby. He has a big heart. I mean, he'll give the shirt literally off his back, which I've seen him do. Hey, I like that shirt. Oh, you do? I'll give it to somebody. At the same time, you know, he'll he'll tell you what's on his mind. Bobby, that shit's burning, bro. Huh? That shit's burning. That was what's burning. Oh shit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> this guy, are you sure? <laughs> Duh. I always told him, like, I want to take the big stage to honor you. I feel like he's been in this game for so long. And I don't know if anybody's giving the, the true credit he deserves. Not just in the cage, but outside the cage too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You kind know uh, of break it up some so it's not just all serious. Oh, you want to learn how to fight? Go get in the fight. It's a fellowship day. You want to kind of bond with your guys. You want to get to know them off the mats, you know? You actually know them and, and build that bond. I feel like I'm at a last supper. You're like, you're going to get your lab before you're going to get the electrical chair. So I need to get everything I possibly can in before I get this to the chair. My fighting style is in your face. It's street. It's raw. It's, it's, it's the hood. Two. And up jab. There we go. I'm bringing the streets. Two. To the UFC. This is how we used to fight in San Bernardino. This is how we used to fight in Fontana. Yeah, keep it tight. Keep it. She has a very awkward style. Bobby could do things that are pretty much, you don't do those things in a fight, but he could do them and, and win with them. The statement I'm looking to make with Jalen Turner is... Two up jab on that one. He doesn't belong with me. I'm faster. Good. I'm slicker. <laughs> ah, one more. There we go. Yeah, you can do some nice things, but there's a lot more in my bag there you than you have in yours. I'm just gonna teach him that grit he has. It's a whole nother level to it. And I'm that guy to show you true grit. Like I said in last fight, I'm in sniper range of the title. Now we're a little closer than sniper range. I'm getting on the heels of some of those guys. It's gonna get real interesting. My journey's been a roller coaster. I've been through it all. I never gave up the vision of being something great. I always stepped up, persevering through everything that I went through. I had no option. At the end of the day, it's them or me. This is gonna be really dope for the fans to enjoy. He does everything great. I'm just better. Now I gotta show him. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna be a lot. And I don't know if he's ready for it. I think he's gonna go to sleep. <laughs>